Hello again folks, I'll start off tonight's video by saying that there is a moth in my workshop tonight and uh, of all the creatures that inhabit the big spinning ball that we call planet Earth uh, the moth is my least favourite, I am absolutely petrified of them so if at any point during this video I scream you know that that moth has probably come into my vicinity it is currently somewhere up in the rafters of the workshop and I hope it uh, decides to remain up there so, that's just a little warning for you. Right, um, I was looking around the shops today and uh, I found this in Home Bargains and I thought I'd pick one up and take a look at it with you. Um, it is a Philips Life Light Solar Lantern. I got this in Home Bargains, which is a UK high street sort of discount retailer. They tend to buy sort of surplus stock and sell it on really cheap. And indeed, this was just £3.99. So I thought at that price, worth getting one. Uh, and we can have a look at it, tear it down and see if there's anything we can use in it. So, as always, we'll have a look at the box. USB port for phone charging, just down there. Safe and bright LED light, free solar powered as opposed to the paid for solar powered uh, and up to 11 hours of light. Uh, they appear to have added a little label on here. Uh, it's just a thermally printed label, ideal for camping chairs and caravans. Uh, on to the back, uh, yeah, solar lantern, LED included. Nice to know. So yeah, you know, how, how often have we bought an LED uh, solar powered lamp and had to go and purchase the LEDs for it? buy it that's just marketing rubbish isn't it um usb port for phone charging uh, cable excluded uh, that's actually a lie uh, four meters of cable or wire for the solar panel connection and uh, yeah four times brighter than a kerosene lamp i can tell you for free that that is absolutely rubbish um yeah again i'll show you that in just a second um that's pretty much it. Uh, IP44 uh, rated on the solar panel and IP20 uh, on the lantern itself. 11 hours uh, run time on 20 lumen setting, 5.5 on the 40 lumen setting and 4 hours on 60 lumen setting. Designed for indoor use only, uh, unless you're in a tent presumably. <laughs> Okay, folks, we'll open it up. Um, I have opened it already, um, the box that is, uh, to charge it. It was completely dead on arrival. I didn't want to start the video with a dead lamp that I'd have to investigate and charge and all that good stuff. So, yes, it is charged and ready to go. So, inside the box, we get our instructions, as you would expect. And, yeah, this lead was included. It did say it wasn't included in the box, but I don't know whether this is Home Bargains is throwing this in here or whether it was a, a, an after. Uh, thought uh, by Phillips themselves. Um, On to the unit itself. It comes in two parts. We've got the lantern itself and it's uh, a fairly attractive blue colour with this uh, frosted dome, you know, diffused dome for the LED, uh, you know, the, the lamp itself. Uh, we've got a solar panel input connection, that's just a standard DC jack, and we've got a uh, USB-A socket for the uh, USB charging. It says in the bottom 3.2 volts, uh, DC 0.7 watts, um, and yeah, it's got three LEDs here for charge indication. And if you just press the button once, it turns on the low setting, press it again, it's a medium setting, and, oh, why did that not oh, come on? Uh, and the third press gives you the, the brightest uh, setting. Now, I own two old vintage Vapolux kerosene lamps, and this claims to be four times brighter. It absolutely is not. I've tried it in a dark room. Um, in fact, I'll, I'll turn off the bench lights here. And the workshop lights. And, you know, that, my hands are, uh, you know, maybe about... 8 to 10 inches away there, just on the left there, and it's it's not bright at all, uh, it really isn't. So, a bit of a, again, marketing rubbish. Okay, there's the workshop lamps back on. Um, but yeah, it's a nice, fairly nice thing, you can obviously ca carry it like a lantern, you know, as you would do. Or you can flip it round, and of course hang it from a tent or a shed roof, something like that. There's little... Uh, so, uh, indentations there uh, for the, the handle to clip into uh, just so that it doesn't swivel around. It's, you know, it's reasonably well designed. 
Um, we'll try the uh, charging function. Now, if I just bring in my WhatsApp phone, which is the one I, I tend to look up things if I'm in here and I'm recording, um, if I plug into the standard wall charger, you will see that um, it's at ninety percent charge, so the 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 charging rate sort of slows down, or the charging current drops slightly. This normally charges at eighteen hundred milliamps, but as you can see, at the end, of, almost at the end of the cycle, it's dropped to twelve hundred milliamps. So if I unplug the wall charger, it goes to zero, of course, and we'll plug it into the lantern and see where it charges at. So five hundred and thirty-three milliamps. So you know, just over half an amp. Yeah, that's not too bad, to be honest. Um, this is a couple of years old. This design. Um, in fact, on here you can see it was manufactured the thirty-sixth week of two thousand and fifteen. Um, so not far off two years ago. Um, and of course, phones back. You know, even a couple of years ago didn't have as big a battery. So, uh, you know, and it didn't take us that long to charge. So it's probably. Probably set up for you know phones of that era, if you can call two years ago an era, but you get what I mean. So yeah, we can see on here as well. There's two of the LEDs indi uh, illuminated, indicating uh, two thirds, you know, full that kind of thing. So that is the um, lamp itself. To charge it, excuse the rustling. Uh, we've got this uh, rather nice um, solar panel. Now, I think this is, I'm not an expert in solar panels, I think this is the silicon uh, cells. The monocrystalline, as far as I'm aware, are the sort of dark red, uh, sort of almost brownie coloured, uh, you know, panels. Um, so, yeah, silicon panel. We've got uh, 20 cells, uh, or possibly 10 cells, you know, tabbed together. Uh, and it's on a, a sort of fiberglass board. Uh, you can probably just see the edge there, almost like PCB PCB material. They've obviously put the the uh, cells on there and essentially laminated this, you know, encapsulated it in, in plastic for that weather resistance. Um, claims to be a one watt, five volt panel. Uh, and as you can see, we've got two just look like standard rubber sort of cable grommets in the holes there and you can use that to hang or screw it onto uh, an appropriate surface um, you know for it to charge uh, charge your lamp and if you just pop it in the front here and it actually works with the with the uh, bench lights here I've just popped it up I mean that's about an inch away from my uh, LED bench lighting and as you can see it's charging there so presumably that first uh, first LED means that it's a third full and the other two LEDs are alternating to, uh, to tell you that it's charging the, the remaining two thirds. Okay, Oaks, right, how far are we in? Eight minutes, right, let's uh, stop talking and get inside and have a look. Not with that screwdriver, look. This one will be too big, no doubt. No, that'll do. So I don't know if I mentioned that uh, this was three pounds and ninety nine pence. So fairly good value for a, a, a Philips branded product. You know, Philips are a well known brand across the world, really, aren't they? And um, I don't know why they're so cheap. Because they did have a lot of them. Okay. So, open it up, you can see we've got little silicon, appear to be silicon anyway, sort of rubber tubes on the handle. Um, and that's presumably just to hold it in, you know, sort of to aid friction, really, uh, to hold the handle in the appropriate position when the two halves are together. Uh, we've got an 18650, it would appear, and that is held in uh, using cable tie. So they've cable tied through the... the, the you know, cable tied each end and then use the cable tie to draw the two together to essentially clamp it in there. So let's take that off. In fact, that'll probably just lift out now. Yep. And the uh, the cell, as you can see, is, is just clipped in there. So we can disconnect that and get it out of the way. Let's have a look at it. It's a great power... Um, 18650, 1000 milliamp hour, 3.2 volts. Manufactured 
12th of July, uh, sorry, 12th of August uh, 2015. And um, I don't know if it's got any protection uh, on there, but it's uh, obviously a, uh, sorry, it's pre terminated, um, probably out of the factory, uh, given it's the original uh, heat shrink that's on there. So um, I don't know if you can buy these uh, off the shelf like this. Uh, you probably get them on eBay, but. Yeah, nice uh, modular design there. And uh, here's the, the business end. So let's take this PCB out and have a little looky. Give it a little jiggle, as you do. Okay, dokes. Right, does this come off? Right, this looks like I don't know if you can see that. That's either glued or ultrasonically welded. So I don't think I'm going to be able to take that off. And the LED is uh, on heat stakes. So, in fact, you know what? We'll just cut these. I wasn't going to bother, but I, I can always glue them back on or something like that. I don't imagine there'll be much heat generated. So there we go, um, just three uh, LEDs, now let me see how that's, I don't know if those are in parallel, a series, I re really need to uh, sketch it out, so negative goes to there, positive, negative, excuse me, um, yeah, they're just uh, in series. Um, onto the board itself, um, yeah, looks fairly straightforward, um, double sided board, however all the components are on the one side. We have a solar panel in, so presumably this is a charging circuitry, this will be the charging package for that um, LiPo. Let me see where that goes. Yeah, so that's coming off that chip, the, the LiPo. Uh, Sorry, the output has come off that chip. Um, we've got a boost converter here to drive these three LEDs. And um, presumably this is a boost converter for uh, to boost up the uh, 5 volts for the USB-A output. We've got a button in, in the middle there and a three blue LEDs. So, yeah, relatively... Um, relatively straightforward construction the uh, dc input jack does seem to be rather nice quality um of course when you're buying these from china they're normally sort of pressed steel and um, but this is a really nice i don't think it's machined but it is a solid uh, lump of metal i don't know if you can see that but that's a, a really really nice connector there i've um, got a little um, plastic spacer just to keep it uh, in position uh, and of course that you know just stops it from moving around when you you you're putting the plug in and out but yeah not too bad at all uh you know nice simple uh nice simple uh pcb not not a lot to it really so um that's pretty much it really not nothing really too interesting or unexpected um yeah, three pounds ninety nine pence. I think that's really good value, especially just for the, um, you know, this panel would be be useful for something. It's maybe not worth three ninety nine, but um, you'd struggle to get one of this quality from from China for that price. I would imagine. Um, yeah, not too bad. I don't know what what we could use it for uh, other than charging batteries, but um, yeah, not bad at all. So I don't know if you have any thoughts on this and whether well you think it's worth uh, worth the money, but if you do, of course, drop them down below. Right, um, what's happening next week? Um, I don't know. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you a question. Uh, it's up to yourselves. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do any electronics related videos next week. I pro you know I probably won't be able to. However, um, I am going on a course next week. Um. And that course is I'm doing my foundation glider pilots uh, course next week. So there is potential that I could do some videos on my journey 
from knowing nothing about flying gliders to going solo, hopefully by the end of next week. So, if you'd like me to do some videos on that, um, please, please comment down below. Um, no pressure either way. I, I can either do it or I can't do it. It is entirely up to you. I don't want to put that sort of content on here if people are not going to be interested in it. But, um, yeah, it is an option. So, please uh, put your thoughts and comments down below. Uh, I'll appreciate that. And, uh, of course, I'll, I'll go with the majority. So, there we go, guys and girls. Thank you very much for watching yet again. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me the thumbs down. Um, if you haven't already done so and you'd like to do so, Click on the fat head down here and subscribe. And until next time, take care of yourselves and all the best.